Hey World Changers, it's Pastor Wes, and welcome back to another week with Real with Wes. This week I want to talk about as we continue to face challenges, as we have been facing the effects of COVID-19, and as time has progressed being under quarantine, I want to talk about how to deal with what you're feeling like when you feel weak and you feel tired. And that may not just be physically, I really want to talk about it uh, when you're feeling it mentally. So what we're going to talk about all this week is God's grace is enough. So grace is enough is the title if you want to give it one. But I want to go a little more below just making that uh, statement overall and, and see what that really means and how when Paul made that s- statement, it was God's grace meets us when we feel weak. God's grace reaches down to us and takes us when we feel tired, we feel beat up, we feel exhausted from life and builds us up if we let it. And understanding that God's grace is available and our faith and dependence on God allows us to tap into a strength that we may not know of, that we may have not fully experienced, but is available to us. So let me talk about uh, Paul's life this week and how he demonstrated this from the Word of God. So my first scripture, it's uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 28, and I'm going to read through verse 30. It says, Then, besides all this, I'm kind of jumping in the middle of thought, but it's pointing out what Paul was dealing with in where he was weak at. Then, besides all this, I have the daily burden of my concern for all the churches. Who is weak without my feelings, that weakness? Who is led astray, and I do not burn with anger? I must boast. I would rather boast about the things uh, that show how weak I am. Now, that almost sounds like a bad scripture at first, but stick with me because i got to read the next part. But I had to read that first or you're not really going to understand this next part of the verse. If you drop down to the next chapter, this all connects where Paul is talking about, man, I'm going through all these things in life. I'm facing all these challenges. And the worst thing he was facing was worrying about the churches, the church's survival, how well the church would succeed in the message of Jesus Christ. And it was weighing on him and wearing him down. So it's talking about how he responded in his weakness. It it talks about how he responded when he was tired. And it gives us a really good glimpse of how we should respond when we're tired and we feel weak. So if you go to 2 Corinthians 12, verse 8 through 10, it says, Paul's talking to God here. He says, three different times I begged the Lord to take it away. Well, now we know what we're talking about, taking it away. What was weighing on him. In verse 9 says, each time he said, my grace is is all you need. My power works best in weakness. So now I am glad to boast about my weakness so that the power of Christ can work through me. That's why I take pleasure in my weakness and in the insults, hardship, persecutions, and troubles that I suffer for Christ. For I, when I am weak, then I am strong. Now, what does that mean? That doesn't mean, oh man, we just want to waller around in weakness and it's good to be weak and frail. No, as humans, all of us have weaknesses. As we talked about with Paul, one of the biggest things that we have weak areas is the things we worry about. And that's really kind of the theme I'm going to carry about all week. What makes us feel tired and weak and what are the weak areas we have is what we're worrying about. If you're worried about your wife. Well, that becomes a weak area for your life for the enemy to try to attack you. If you're worried about your kids and what could happen to them, them getting sick, that becomes a weak area for the enemy to attack. The things that trouble you and worry you in your mind, those become weak areas for the enemy to attack. But with Paul, like his weak area was the church and the enemy was attacking and tormenting there, he would go to God and just say, just take it from me. And a lot of times we just try to throw it up before God and be like, God, take this, please. But here is God's response. My grace is all you need. And what is he saying? Why don't you lean on my grace? Why don't you depend on my grace? See, Paul was saying, man, can you just remove this whole situation, this whole circumstance, these people out of the way, this this problem out of the way? See, he was asking God, just just eliminate the problem. And God God was saying, listen, my grace has equipped you to deal with the problem. Just the problem automatically going away is not going to fix what's really going on on the inside of you. God's grace is what deals with the care because the real problem is not what you're looking at. The real problem is you're worried. The real problem is you trying to carry the care. What's carrying the care? That means you're not giving it to God. That means you're actually not trusting God with him. 
for it to take care of. So what was Paul saying? Oh my gosh, I realize this is a weak area for me. Well, when I see that this is a weak area, the grace of God comes in and bridges the gap is what he does. The, the, the grace of God comes in where I may be inadequate in this fear and this worry right now and makes me adequate is what it does. See, you could be at home feeling like you are just everything's awful, you feel tired and you're weak, you feel like you're failing as a spouse, failing as a parent because you can't homeschool your kids right, uh, failing in your finances because you're having trouble managing things, but God's grace comes in where you may be weak in those areas and gives you what you need to strengthen yourself, gives you what you need to feel, um, to feel adequate in that moment, but not only feel it, to walk in it. So all week, what we're going to talk about, man, is we acknowledge, yeah, we might be weak in there. We're here to acknowledge God's grace comes in and makes us strong in every area. So what I encourage you today, man, if you are feeling weak in an area, if you're feeling like something's just got you whipped, something's got you beat, and you can't shake the care of it off, take it to God. Acknowledge, say, God, I'm, I'm struggling in this area of weakness, but I know your grace is strong enough. So I place a demand on your grace right now to minister to me and cover my weak area. And I know where maybe I'm falling short, you got me covered. So what that allows you to do is, is rest now. It allows you to relax is what it allows you to do and give that care over to God and come up out of your weakness and know, man, the grace of God is strengthening me to walk through whatever trouble Whatever situation, whatever problem, whatever care, the grace of God is walking me through it, and I'm going to come out victorious. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.